The Cowboys are going to be playing the Saints on Sunday and they're going to lose to the Saints. So the Saints will beat the Cowboys. I predict the score will be 25 to 22. It's going to be a really good game. It's going to be entertaining. Even without Drew Brees being there, I still have got the Saints winning. They're playing at home. They're playing in that Mercedes-Benz Dome. Those fans are going to be loud. They're going to be all in the Cowboys' heads. I don't see the Cowboys coming out on top here. Now, I know that Drew Brees is out, but it's all good. We know that Teddy Bridgewater is a great backup quarterback. He is a great game manager. All he's going to do is hold down the fort until Breeze gets back. So for this game on Sunday, when Teddy Bridgewater plays, he's going to throw the ball. He's going to be careful with the ball because he knows that he cannot turn the ball over. He cannot be a turnover machine like Jameis Winston because if he does, he knows what's going to happen. The, the Saints will lose. So they're going to run the ball. They're going to throw it to Thomas. They're going to throw it to Alvin Kamara. They're going to play a little conservatively, which is okay. I'm all for it because that's what you have to do. You don't, when you don't have your star starting quarterback, then you got to switch things up. So Sean Payton is going to come up with a magnificent game plan. Offensively, they're going to be just slowly but surely moving the ball down the field. So there will be several methodical drives taking place. And that's how they're going to win. Ball control is key for the Saints. So they have to control the clock. They're going to have to run the ball. They're going to have to play great defense. That is the key to them winning. And I think last week's win against the Seahawks gave them the energy they need, gave them the confidence they need to know that they can, they can compete with quality NFC teams like the Cowboys and others out there. So by them beating the Seahawks, it gave them the confidence they needed to be able to compete with the Cowboys. And plus, the Saints are playing at home. So they've got that home court, home field advantage. Not home court, but home field advantage. And that's a great thing. Like I said, those fans are going to be on those Cowboys. I anticipate the Cowboys having about five or six false start penalties because those fans are going to be loud. They're going to be roaring. They're going to be all in the Cowboys' heads. So that too will play a role in to how the game will go. I'm telling you right now, it's going to be a great game. Despite Breeze not being there, it'll still be entertaining because we still got great playmakers. Like I said, we got Kamara, we got Thomas. Tate again may also step up his level of play. So it's going to be a fantastic day. The defense is also going to come alive on Sunday. I look forward to them sacking Dak Prescott a lot. And it's going to be a long day for the Dallas Cowboys. That's what I believe will happen. I see that defense stepping up. Because we all know that Drew Brees is out. So the Saints have to step up the level of play. Everybody has to just play better than what they're accustomed to. And they know that their margin for error is very slim. So this Sunday, when they play the Cowboys, it's going to be a great game. I know the Cowboys are going to bring it. They're going to try their best to win. Uh, they're going to try their best to make things difficult for the Saints. They're, they're going to run Ezekiel Elliott a lot. And when the Saints bring that eighth defender in the box, they're, they're going to try to throw over the top of them with Amari Cooper and Michael Gallup and all those other wide receivers that have Randall Cobb. I know, but the Saints defense will hold. They're not going to let the Cowboys go crazy all over the field. I don't see Dak Prescott throwing for 500 yards. No, that's not happening. He'll be lucky to get 200 yards. I've got the Saints winning. And it's going to be a fun game. And they're going to still make it to the Super Bowl despite Drew Brees being out for some time with that thumb injury. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. You should definitely subscribe to my channel if you have not done so already. Just press that subscribe button below this video. If you did that, I would greatly appreciate it. And plus, you wouldn't miss out on any future content that I post. So you should definitely subscribe. Thanks again for watching. Thanks for listening. I hope that all of you have a blessed, wonderful day.